Time for another book haul, but there's a problem. No books. Uh, I guess we got so many last week uh, when I went to check the mailbox this week. Not a book in there yet, but I'm going to go do what I did last time this happened and pull some books off my shelf for you to look at, and I hope you enjoy them, starting with Stanislav Lem's Memoirs Found in a Bathtub. This is the very copy of the book that I first read, uh, purchased at Half Price Books in Austin, Texas when I worked there. It's got an amazing cover too. Check that cover art out. Uh, this is, as I have found, not the most accessible of the Stanislav Lem books, hence the sword and laser term to Lem a book, meaning to stop reading it because uh, Veronica just really did not enjoy this much. But Stanislav Lem has some amazing books, and I really love this one mostly because of the introduction. I, I was sucked in when I was working at the University of Illinois Library, and somebody had turned this back in just by reading the introductory backstory there. Uh, and this is the first paperback appearance of this book with that classic cover. And uh, let me see if I can find the year real quickly. 1971. English translation, copyright 1973. Second is my copy of The Man in the High Castle, original cover. This book is not in good condition, as you can see. But if uh, you are excited about the upcoming Amazon series based on this book, this is the original. This is what it looked like, Man in the High Castle. New York, under the heel of enemy stormtroopers. San Francisco, in the relentless grip of an overpowering invader. All of America, a slave labor camp. Against this nightmare come true, one man, alone, in a high castle, surrounded by barbed wire pits, his solitary courage. It's a sentence fragment on the back. Uh, that's not actually what the book's really about. They didn't really care about that stuff back in the 60s. New York Times calls it scarifying. The Virginia Kirkus calls it fascinating. Love that cover too with the, uh, the, the country split, which is also not accurate to the book because the Rocky Mountain states are kind of a, a buffer zone in the middle. But Finally, I'm going to finish up with something fun. Uh, this is original. I got this back in 1981 or 1979, I guess. Uh, the Battlestar Galactica photo story. This is not a book. It is the biggest and best full-color photo adventure ever. This were a big hit back in the like late 70s, early 80s. I had one of these for Star Wars. I had a comic version for Star Trek. Had one for Close Encounters. They essentially just took stills from the movie and created a comic book out of them. Uh, and you can just, I, I read it over and over again. So I feel like I've seen the movie more than I really have because of the all-new, all-photo, full-color space adventure. I don't even think they give an authorial credit here, because really... Oh, no, written and produced by Glenn A. Larson, who was the producer of Battlestar Galactica. Uh, it does say starring Lauren Green, Richard Hatch, etc., because uh, they're all in there, and that is the Battlestar Galactica photo story. I hope that helps tide you over on the book haul. We'll be getting back to the mailbox as soon as we get more things in the mailbox. And until then, you can find great things to read in the science fiction and fantasy category at swordandlaser.com. See you there.